I don't know how it changes humans. It's not a new concept for, for many of us. The always on internet is something that started in the in the late 80s for, for many of us. Uh, when broadband connectivity came to uh, homes, certainly businesses, but homes as well. And so I've been always on since probably about 84, 85. Um, so it's, uh, it, it hasn't changed, it, it's changed me in the sense that uh, I never look at a dictionary anymore. I never look at an uh, encyclopedia anymore. The data is there. It may be wrong, but it's there. Um, and I reach out to people when back in the, in the mid '80s. The stuff that I started doing there was to collaborate with people in Australia. And we did it. Didn't do it real time because the time zone difference. But uh, there was no inhibition of, of, uh, of working together. I've been doing a lot of work in the Internet Engineering Task Force, the IETF, and most of that work is done online. It's done communication, they develop standards, argue over bit patterns and things like that, all online. And it's just been part of our lives for a very long time. It's becoming a part, a new part of a lot of people's lives, uh, particularly with the mobile mobile internet, the, the smartphones, which have changed uh, the paradigm entirely for a lot of folks. It's not just instant messaging anymore, it's much more involved uh, in terms of uh, multi-person communication, finding out what's going on in the news, uh, affecting the news, uh, flash mobs, all that kind of thing. Um, and so it, it's the, the always on uh, extension of the mobile network has been a major impact and is going to continue to be as long as we keep people from driving while they're watching their TVs on their mobile TVs.